Hello viewers, welcome to the channel, welcome to another Minecraft video. In today's tutorial for my 500 subscriber special, we're going to be building the Panzerschild Quagefeld, the einzige Fuhlzentimeter Panzer am Blitzkanal 83 auf Panzerkampfwagen 2, Sonderfragestell 901, which was a German tank hunter designed, uh, I think, 1942, using the uh, reliable Panzer II chassis coupled with a, a reliable Pac-38, uh, Pac-38 50mm cannon. Only two prototypes were built, but unlike most prototypes built by the Germans in World War II, these were actually uh, used somewhat on the front line in actual combat, so it makes it pretty special in that respect. And also a pretty uh, rare tank to see around. So uh, without further ado, uh, whoops. <laughs> so we're not, since it's just so small, we're not going to do layer by layer, so we're just going to uh, get right into it. So uh, first, we're going to lay down the road wheels, so start with one dark oak stair. And then one more dark oak stair facing three blocks away. I'm going to take another brick and place one upward just right in front of them both. Next, we're going to place down a full block of nether bricks. And then uh, behind this, take two and replace them with nether brick. Then uh, on top of these, we're going to place down two dark oak stairs that are facing inwards towards each other, just like so. Of course, same thing on the other side. And after that's done, I'm going to place down one more uh, nether brick full block. One stair facing towards it. And then just like we did at the front, a nether brick uh, up, up slab. So you should have something that looks like this. And lastly, we're just going to place some oak, uh, dark oak trapdoors in front of the nether brick full blocks. So that'll uh, finish up the tracks. Now for the uh, bottom of the hole, we're going to place down row 3 uh, birch slabs right across the first two, uh, there's the first uh, dark oak stair, and in the back it's going to be really the same thing. So 1, 2, and 3, and of course fill up the entire floor. Just like so. So next, moving on, I'm going to carry on with the tracks. We're going to need some stairs, a uh, daylight sensor, we need to grab a sign as well, uh, then an item frame, and we'll grab the rest of the items as we go. So we're going to place down one nether brick uh, stair on top of each of the slabs in the front, then behind it a uh, stair just facing towards it, and behind each of them one daylight sensor. And we're going to go skip uh, three blocks, place one daylight sensor on top of this, the last stair, and then a dark oak slab right behind the sensor. So you should get a shape that looks like this. Represents, I think, the interesting track shape pretty well. It's pretty high up in the front, then has a, a little bit of rise in the back, and then a big dip kind of right in the middle. So for the uh, drive sprocket, we'll place down one item frame and put down a web inside of it. I think the rear the rear wheel is pretty much just this dark oak thing. If I had put like an item frame it would be it would show up a bit too high. It's not at the same level as the drive sprocket of course so this is pretty much just going to be the uh, wheel right there. And as I said I put a, uh, put a just a cobweb right inside the item frame. So now with the tracks done we can move on to the I think body of the tank. So we're just going to place a a lot of sandstone on top of the rows of birch slabs. Just like so. In the front, and I believe in the back, we're going to take a sandstone wall, place row 3, then place a, an item frame. Uh, that one, I can't uh, place it off the side of the stair, just like so. But in the back, I believe it's going to be, alright, we're going to place a row of three upside down birch stairs. And also, one thing that we love forgot, one birch fence gate, just facing outwards like that. Place an item frame right on the all left, left hand side. It's going to need a, 
piece of black wool inside of it. And a few different color signs, so we're going to need birch, oak, and dark. So place a dark one in the middle, then two oak ones to the side. And then to the side of the oak ones, two birch, right off the dark oak slab. And uh, with that all finished up, we can move on to the next layer. So we're going to grab carpets, uh, trapdoor, going to need, uh, yes, smooth stone stairs, sandstone, snow again. Uh, slap and a carpet. So place a carpet right on top of each of the two in the brick stairs. And behind that, two uh, birch trippers. And then on top of the first, uh, in front of the first uh, birch trapdoor, we're going to place down one item frame. with a snowball inside. So moving on with the track covers, we're going to place down, uh, actually we're going to place off off of this, uh, these sandstone blocks. We're just going to place one, two, and three. Oops. Track covers open up like that. So you get a slight little dip. Same thing, of course, on the other side. Just like so. And after that, we're going to place down one dark oak slab. I'm oh, sorry, one uh, just oak slab for a little box on the side, and behind each one of those, just a yellow carpet, like we did on the front. So to knock out the uh, body of the tank, we're going to need to place down a loom first and a little uh, flower pot right in the middle. For I don't really know what this is, but all right, it's there. So next behind that, we're just going to place down a loom and. Uh, to also need, uh, oh, sorry, I'm going to need a smooth sandstone. I need this glass later. So just place a row three smooth sandstone right behind the loom. I'm going to take our smooth sandstone stairs and place some upside down facing to either side of the loom. So it should look like this. But we're going to cover them up with a sign on each one. Oops, just like so. So after that's all done, we're going to carry our uh, smooth sandstone back only two more. And on the last three, we're going to take our brush trappers again, place three of them and flip them upwards. So they're so it gives it a sort of a wider impression because the uh, first portion of the hole was sort of uh, angled inwards and then it got slightly wider as it came out towards the back. So that's what we're trying to go for here. Same thing on the other side, except for the very last one, where we're going to place down a skull instead for uh, some radio equipment. And in the back, which has a very slight slope, we're going to just use some snow. Let's place them as such, almost all the way. And one below that one, just like that. So what the hull Pretty much all done. I'm going to move on to the turret. So start by placing the approach pressure plate on top of each of the stairs to the side. One smooth stone block and right in front of it a birch stair. So to either side we're going to grab some a sensor wall and a yellow stained glass pane. Place down a pane to either side of the a block, what you're going to do slash give uh, me a debug stick. So of course, just like we did in the Sherman tutorial, when you're, if you're playing 1.16, this should be no problem, should already do this by itself, but if you're playing on an earlier version like me, you're probably only going, you're going to need a debug stick, which is only a Java, so apologies if that makes things a bit little complicated there, but uh, only using a debug stick because uh, it's Pretty much default in 1.16, so I think that's totally acceptable to use now. So I'm going to place down two sandstone walls behind each of the panes, and I'm going to connect them up. Of course, you're playing 1.16, they should connect up automatically, but since we are really not, we're going to figure out how to use them. So north, is going to set this to south. I'm going to set this one to north. There we go. So should look like this 
and going towards the back. Uh, we're going to uh, change up a few blocks right here. I'm going to use some smooth sandstone stairs. I'm actually going to dig out the last two rows here. And on the uh, ones in front of the snow, I'm going to place down a uh, smooth sandstone stair. Just facing off like that. Also, I believe this one is facing inwards. Doesn't really need to be, but I'm just going to have it like that anyway. And we can destroy this block right here. And in fact, we can go a bit further down right there. So you can figure out the insides, what you want to do with them. So I'll just do some random stuff right there. Maybe make that a stair. And on the inside, by the breach, I placed on one skeleton skull. And I think that'll uh, update the block state, so I can fix that. So once you have that all done, I'm going to need an egg rod and a where the skeletons go. I'm going to go out one and two. Place your block where the skeletons go. And place an egg rod just like so. And lastly, I'm going to need some iron bar for the little antenna, which is just going to be one and two going off of the Let's go. So with that all in place, I believe, hopefully, that will finish up our, uh, uh, you know, what it's called, hopefully, but uh, I hope you have enjoyed the tutorial. Again, this is 500 subscribers special, kind of a throwback to what I did for, I think it was either 100th or, actually, don't know if it was a special or not, but just a throwback to an older build, so I guess you can see how far I've come, sort of like what I did for the 150th, the uh, same thing I did for a special long time ago. So just really showing how much I guess I've improved, thanks to all you guys' support. Let's keep me doing this, I guess. So thank you all again, and see you in the next video. Yeah, yeah, yeah.